so y'all watch my videos and uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram and uh, Facebook, things like that. Also, see all the pictures. Let me flip this screen around so I don't see myself in it. I can't stand that because I'll be looking at the viewfinder. And of course, a lot of my pictures are, you know, are, are good stuff and the video is good and all, but my uh my granddaddy was a photographer he that's what he did for a living he had a, a photography studio here in columbus so he shot pictures for a living uh, he died when i was real young but he taught me how to shoot and stuff like that and i had a little brownie point and shoot uh black and white camera that shot 120 uh film and he taught me how to develop it. So I'd shoot pictures and then go up there to the studio and get in a dark room and I would develop the pictures and print them myself. And then uh, in the early 90s then, uh, I actually had a photography business. Uh, I was logging and I shot weddings and senior pictures and family portraits and stuff like that. So that's where a lot of my background on film comes from. I enjoy video a little bit more than I do uh, pictures though, but I do like pictures. But to do what I do, and just like right now, this video that's being filmed right now, you got to have gear to do it. you got to have camera equipment to do it. I don't just take my fingers every day and snap it and it shows up on, on Instagram or, or YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever. So I've got me some new gear here, and of course my gear gets used in a lot more extreme environment than what normal people with cameras use. It's attached to logging equipment, for God's sakes. You know, it's getting beat and bang. The dust, the you know, the tree fiber that's flying around in the air and stuff like that. But I. Uh, in one of my videos here recently, I talked about how I want to raise the bar so high, you know, and and just get it, you know, I just always want my videos just to be better and better and better. And you're fixing to see an incredible improvement in quality and in sound. Because I'm going to show you what I'm going to, what I'm fixing to do here. This is the first thing. The first item right here that I just got. All this came from B&H Photo. Uh, if you ever need anything from them, I don't get anything from them free, but I highly recommend recommend them to you. Great group of people to work with and stuff like that. And that's where I bought a lot of my photography gear from over the years is from them. But this is a Canon ADD. This is just a body right here. And uh, it's actually taking the place of a 70D. And uh, so that's going to be one of my high-end cameras right there and then this is the lens that i'm going to use on it right here too this is a canon lens it's a uh it's a 10 to 22 uh, millimeter lens so it's a wide angle and stuff like that because when you're vlogging and you're doing what i do you don't want to be right on it you want to be you know you want to be over where you can see and that's what i like about the gopro so much such a wide angle so that's the, that's the two pieces of camera that I'm going to be using right there. And then, of course, then here's the big thing right here. This is something that I'm really going to take to a different level is the sound. So what I've got is I've got a, an external microphone. This is called a shotgun microphone that I actually mount to the hot shoe on top of the camera and will pick up sound. And then with that, I've also got a windscreen to go on it right here which is this squirrel tail looking thing right here it'll actually fit over it it'll help cut down on that wind noise which i've got the camera that y'all are watching me on right now i've got that kind of that same thing on it on the microphone it doesn't have an external microphone like this road uh mic right here is it's so but i've got a windscreen over the mic on it so it don't pick up as much of uh, wind noise and but I'm also going to, I don't have it in this box and I haven't ordered it yet. I'm also going to start uh, recording my sound from another machine, a recorder is what I'm going to do. And so, for instance, like the drone stuff that y'all see me film all the time, 
I'm going to actually put a sound recorder on the machine that I'm filming or I can wear it on me or whatever and I can while the drone's flying I can record the actual sound that the machine's making and then in post was editing I can put that I can have my film clip up here and then I drop my sound clip in up under there there's been a lot of people who's asked me about to do something with my dad you know why ain't you done something with your dad why ain't you done something with your dad you know a video with my dad well here's why and it's simple I wanted my channel to be big I wanted it to be to where it is now or larger because I didn't want to just film it and put it out there or anything like that and then number two I wanted I wanted it to be perfect I wanted a good camera a good lens and good audio because understand this the video when I do it with my dad one day sit down with him I want to sit down with him just talk to him you know I want that video to be special you know what I mean I don't want it to be just you know just a run of mill video and and I'm going to show y'all the difference between the cameras and you'll see what I'm talking about between the cameras and the sound so in this right here I also got um, of course there's the windscreen right there that goes on it got some more SD cards you can't have uh, too much memory that's a 128 right there baby to go in that cannon right there that's a 128 and then for buying all this they gave me a 16 gig card for buying all this right here and then let's see I don't know what this is right here this is something extra that they sent to me I'm not exactly sure what that is some kind of magnet or something there is what that is and then to help protect my lenses while I'm in the woods with the dust and just so I don't scratch them or anything you always put a some sort of filter on a clear uh, like a UV filter or something like that which this camera right here the only time I would ever use it in the woods is, is if it had rained and there wasn't any dust flying I will not use this this camera will be used for other things you will see this camera at the Mid-South uh, Forestry Equipment Show in uh, uh, August that's what I'll be filming with is that camera right there <clears throat> then they sent me an extra battery for free for that camera uh, to use on it they didn't charge me anything for that and then they sent this bag right here also too for buying all that it was free uh, included in that they gave me that and then this right here, this right here is pretty special. This is this is a 70 to 200 lens to fit a Canon. Jill shoots too. Jill has a uh, a uh, 60D that she shoots with. But both our girls, y'all know, if you've been following me for a while, they both play sports. And both my girls play travel softball, and Anna Kate plays soccer, and Emma plays soccer too. And Jill has always wanted a lot larger lens to be able to get to them on I was actually going to buy a 400 millimeter lens a 100 to 400 Canon lens and it was a 5.6 lens and so when Jill called up there when I had her call up there this is where the guys at B&H really shine uh, he I couldn't talk to him from where I'm working at right now because our phone was signal so bad. So I had Jill doing that, and Jill was kind of communicating with me and everything. And uh, he he asked what he wanted to do it, what we were wanting to do with it, and this and that and everything. So he talked. He he recommended going on to a 2.8 and dropping down to a 200, which the that the 2.8 and 5.6 that's the aperture size the smaller the number the larger the aperture opens up well when the aperture opens up that allows more light in well in the film industry doing filming and all the more light you got or, or that you can get the better off you are and so got this right here for Jill 
and uh, and I'm gonna use it some too. I'm gonna take it on the river with me and stuff like that sometimes when she's not using it. And uh, uh, so be looking for some more softball stuff coming up uh, from my girls uh, because Anna Kate's a senior this year, are gonna be a senior this fall, and uh, we're gonna do some special stuff there. And then for my uh, for my birthday. I had already ordered this and I got this through Amazon. This is another camera bag that I hope will hold all of my all of my stuff. And uh but I didn't want to order this stuff off of Amazon. I wanted to get it directly from uh B and H where I could talk to them and all that. So uh like I said, y'all are gonna see a lot, you know, the quality go way up. And it's just part of it. I mean, you you have to, you know, if you're going to keep going and producing stuff, uh, you know, you have to replace gear and stuff like that from time to time. So far, I hadn't destroyed a camera yet. I've come really, really close several times. But I'll be, uh, I'll be running some tests with this stuff over the next uh, several days through this weekend and uh, that sort of thing. And just messing with it and all. Like I said, Jill's got a Jill's got a 60D, which is real close to what this camera is. This camera just got a few more different things that it does and stuff like that. But um, so I get I get asked all the time, "What do you shoot with?" You know, and of course you see all this right here. I use two GoPros. I have a Hero Two, uh, Hero Four Silver. I use the Four Silver all the time. And then what y'all are watching me on right now is a Sony Handycam, and uh, it's a 330, that's what it is. All my cameras can link back to my phone. I can control them through Wi-Fi on my phone. They have their own Wi-Fi uh, transmitter on them. And that's huge for me because a lot of times I got a camera out on the end of a boom or somewhere where I can't see the camera, and then I can see on my phone, so I use that's any cameras that I get are all Wi-Fi. They have their own Wi-Fi source, except for my oldest GoPro, and so that's uh that's what I use. But my next step, like I said, is the audio. Is the you know not not only this audio, but a audio recorder and uh, uh, wireless mics and stuff like that because I got some stuff, been meaning to do it already this year, but I, I hadn't because I was waiting to get some of this stuff here like this to make the next move that I was gonna make. And just gonna keep raising that bar, just raising that bar higher and higher. That's what that's what I wanna do. I, was going, I wanted Jill to come in here with me and sit here beside me while I was doing it, but she said she wasn't doing that. So, uh, but that's okay, so. Hope y'all enjoyed that, uh, seeing that, and, uh, and also, y'all be good.